do a fair bit of side to side movement up at the gudgeon pin end which is a sure indicator of where at the big end level and this is a crank that definitely needs or a con rod that definitely needs replacing technical term fooked and actually it's probably while we're here I'll also point out that this, this crank is also fucked on the thread the way it's been impact yeah. Yeah. tightened up with the clutch has been uh, tightened yeah. up with an impact driver yeah. and it's just you might not be able to see that very clearly but it's been just mashed up the thread again I think that's the technical term it's fucked it's like that mm. um, so yeah this is but now let's compare and contrast to a beautiful one that's just come out of my <laughs> number one engine <laughs> And it's done nearly two seasons, or but there's, yeah, there's, there's, it's done about at least it's done at least ten meetings. Yeah, there's hardly any discernible movement at the little end end. Um, you know, and if if you're on a if you're on a budget, um, I don't think it's an enormous risk to say that this has, this crank's got a a fair bit of life left in it. Yeah. If it were Chris's and I would and I felt that I would say leave it in there because you know you've got other problems of actually doing the work and getting the crank true and all of that sort of nonsense that you've got a crank that looks in good nick here. Excellent.